despite the fact that reputable world scientists warn that the use of the word cult or sect causes great harm to people and should be avoided, especially in academic literature and court proceedings. Representatives of the anti-cult movement continue to actively exploit this label and propagate it through the media, turning magazines and newspapers into mouthpieces of their hateful rhetoric. When claiming that someone belongs to a cult or a sect, anti-cultists base their accusations not on academic papers or legal investigations, but on their own dubious and abstract concept of brainwashing. This idea has no scientific ground and is extremely vague. Nevertheless, exactly on the basis of the unreliable concept of brainwashing, anti-cultists label targeted groups and organizations as cults or sects. Brainwashing is an unscientific concept where the so-called cults and sects are accused of rigidly controlling the consciousness of their participants, which is why people can allegedly turn into zombies due to manipulation of their beliefs, thoughts, and behavior. Not only is this concept untenable, but it is also extremely dangerous as it leads to dehumanization. When society believes that an individual has been brainwashed, people stop regarding him as a sane individual. Instead of a human with his own thoughts and decisions, others begin to perceive him as a zombie or a puppet. Meanwhile, with such a perception of a person or a group of people, it is much easier to use violence against them. Forensic psychologist Dick Anthony states that the concept of brainwashing and the fear associated with it are used by the anti-cult movement as a tool to justify persecution of religious minorities. The court determined that the concept of brainwashing cannot be applied as a legal charge since it is untenable and unscientific. However, despite this, American anti-cultists continued to actively promote the concept of brainwashing 